All right, hello everybody. This is IA Command. This is TV Boy, and we are looking at the championship match of the Nova Open. And I have a special guest with me here today. This is Ryan Janway. Hi, thanks for having me on. Yeah, Ryan, thanks for coming on to talk about this game. So um, let's get into it. It sounds like you guys had a very long, intense match. Um, why don't you tell us a little about yourself and then about the list you're playing? Sure, yeah. So, uh, like you said, my name is Ryan Janway. I am from North Carolina. Uh, been playing competitive uh, Imperial Assault skirmish for about two and a half or three years now. Uh, this was my third trip to the Nova Open uh, to play in the Imperial Assault tournament, um, and my first time making it to the finals. So uh, nice. I was pretty excited about that. This we we had 24 players in total. Uh, so on day one we did four rounds uh, of Swiss. Um, I was 4-0 on day one along with one other player that was Mark uh, Neely from the Slack and forums. Um, and then day two we had a cut to top eight. Uh, so this what we're watching here is the finals match uh, between myself and uh, Average Joe Gamer as he's known on the uh, Zion's Finest Slack and I think the FFG forums as well. Okay, so the list that I am using uh, here today is a Rebel list. I have seven activations. I am running uh, Han Solo with the Rogue Smuggler attachment. I've got Dracata. I've got Sabine. Uh, I've got Hera, Gideon, R2-D2, C-3PO, and then a few upgrades. I'm using Doubt and Extra Armor. And then since all my uh, figures are unique, I've got Heroic Effort in there. Uh, so seven activations, three heavy hitters, and uh, most of the time with Extra Armor, I'm putting two blocks onto Dracata and two block tokens onto Han. So that's, nice. that's my list. Nice. And then if we look over at uh, Average Joe's side, we see he's got kind of a similar list, but actually quite different. Um, he's got So he's got Han Solo with the attachment. He's got Leia. He has Hera, uh, MHD, the medical droid, Gideon, C-3PO, R2-D2, and two smugglers. And he has extra armor as his last deployment point. So list commonly known as the lover's box. Uh, because it likes to hang out in a very tight space with C-3PO providing distracting to Han and uh, Leia giving extra attacks to Han. Um, so what were your kind of your thoughts uh, playing against this list going into this match? Yeah, so um, you, it may be hard to tell on the video, but his choice with extra armor um, was to stack two block tokens onto Leia, which I think is a good mm -hmm. move, and then one for Hera, one for MHD, just trying to help all those figures survive mm -hmm. a little bit longer. Uh, so in this match, this is the finals game, um, we're playing on uh, Maul's uh, back alley map, and the mission is the Triple Cross, uh, which is commonly just called the Maul's Gangsters. So mm -hmm. um, in this mission, you know, the victory points uh, are there, and, and they kind of reward your list having kill power, because you need to defeat these gangster um figures in order to score three points per figure. So start of the game, my initial thought was um, I want to get focused Dracata uh, out to be able to shoot at that middle gangster as quickly as possible so that I could, mm -hmm. the idea is to send Dracata out to one shot that middle gangster, score those three points, and then I can kind of sit back, uh, pick off the gangster that's on my side that's easy to get to. Um, draw my cards, get focused up, and kind of get ready for the next round. Um, so that was my strategy going into it. Uh, I knew that this mission maybe favors my list a little bit because I do have more firepower than uh, uh, Joe Gamer's list here. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what I was. That's that's what I was going for. Um, I will say this was my first time on. Uh, first time playing my list on this mission out of this deployment zone. So, 
my deployment zone uh, setup was a little <coughs> wonky. I think I made things a mm. little uh, harder on myself than I needed to with the way I deployed my figures and, and sent them out round one. Um, but we'll take a look at that in just a moment. All right, so it looks like Joe is starting off with the initiative here, and Archer D2 has gone and drawn a card for him. And then, Ryan, it looks like you went ahead and activated Gideon, uh, focusing Dracada and pushing Hera forward two spaces. Tell us about That's that. That's right. Yeah, getting set up so that I can have Dracada take a shot at that middle gangster. Ah, so she can. you're pushing forward her area of influence then with her uh, called shots ability. That's right. I want to have her in position where I could use that, that bonus if I need it. And it looks like uh, Joe activated his Gideon, focusing someone and pushing Leia forward. And, uh, That's right. Uh, yep, I think he focused Leia early on. Oh yeah, because she had the two defense tokens on her from extra armor. Yeah. So now we've got Dracada taking a shot at that gangster early in the round here. Focus yep, shot. This is a focus Dracada shot. Um, I think I had a good roll on this and I didn't even need to use my uh, Hera ability to call the shots. I think I was able to push that damage through, yeah, and take that gangster out in one shot. Yeah, focus Dracada, pretty likely to take out a six health gangster there. Yeah, that's that's what I was counting on. Um, I had Hera for backup support if I needed to use um, call the shots to get an extra damage, and if my attack roll was really bad, I could still use Dracada's demolish ability to uh, put a rebel token down and deal one more damage to that gangster. Yep. And uh, Joe activating one of his two smugglers, putting it next to the door for the next round to open it. Yep. Um, and then getting that first gangster, that middle gangster, is so important because it also denies your opponent that three points, right? That's right. That's right. So here I activated R2. Um, I was really eager to draw a card, and I think this was a bit of a mistake. I kind of clogged up my terminal area uh, by activating R2 so early in the round. Hmm. Um, We'll see as, as this round plays out, but uh, I could have waited on R2 and, and allowed some of my other figures to get a shot off at the gangster that's on my side. Um, but yeah, it was a little, little bit of a sketchy um, start of the mission for me in terms of my deployment and my activations. Um, but we'll, we'll see where that goes in a little while. Yeah, and those gangsters can be pretty resilient since they get an automatic two blocks on six health. It does take uh, a significant attack to bring them down. That's right. And if you right. if you attack one and it doesn't die, you're leaving it open for your opponent to possibly steal those points. So. Correct. Yeah, and you, you know, a figure like Sabine is really good at flying across the map and throwing her parting gift grenade to um, take to finish off. Uh, a gangster that maybe your opponent's already yep. put one or two shots into. Yep. And he so Hera here, three dice attack, only did, looks like, two or three damage to it. I think, yeah, I think his Hera got three damage maybe into that gangster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I have definitely had gangsters stolen by a Sabine grenade, so that's something yep. Joe needs to be wary of. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. um, so now it's your activation. The only big hitter you've activated so far is Strakata. Yep. Oh, and Hera's activated too. So it looks like you're just down to Sabine and Han here. Yes, that's right. Um, and you can see my, my Han is a little far back. Uh, yeah, here it goes. I've activated Hera to take a shot at that gangster on my side. And it looks like we've got three damage. I think, yeah, I think we both... I think we had even um, damage on, on these gangster shots. His Hera just went and put three damage on two, one gangster, and then my Hera went and put three damage on two, the other gangster. Mm -hmm. And important to note that Joe's list has nine activations here, seven. So you could be passing, but it seems this first round, um, taking those early activations seems to be pretty important. <laughs> yeah, I think I was... Um, really focused on getting the, the damage into gangsters um, could have afforded some passes I think per, maybe I start passing here in a moment and uh, important to note for viewers we are watching this at one and a quarter speed playback so 
and he will look a little fast. That's why. Yes. You can um. see uh, Joe has really good uh, deployment uh, set up on his side of the map. Um, you can see, he's got his box in a nice, nice position. Um, his Leia is very well protected. His MHD is pretty far back and pretty hard to get to. Uh, he has Hera uh, in the in the most forward position, which is good because she wants to be in range to be able to provide her uh, call the shots ability. So he has a, he's got a really good setup over there. Now your list has access to two figures that can do area of effect damage, though, in Tricotta and Sabine. Correct. Um, so. I'm wondering if Joe has to be concerned about that, at least later in the game, when they move up. Right. I, you, like you said, I've got Dracada and Sabine that can really come in and throw around a lot of uh, splash damage. Okay, so it looks like your Sabine is doing a focused attack on the gangster closest to your deployment zone? Uh, actually, she just came up to throw her parting gift grenade. Oh, this is the grenade. Okay. This, is, this was the... Um, my mistake with the R2 uh, placement, because R2-D2 is sitting right behind Dracada right now. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have the space to allow Sabine to come up and take a shot mm. and grenade. So what I did here was just move Sabine up. The gangster had three damage on it. I threw her grenade to add some more damage. I, I rolled the double damage on her uh, parting gift grenade. So the gangster now has five damage on him. Um, but I decided I, I really like Sabine in this position where she is. There's a red uh, line um, mm -hmm. just below her. So it's a nice, it's a nice protected uh, place for Sabine. Puts her in good position for the next round. I knew with my activations and my positioning that I wasn't going to be able to kill this gangster before he before the gangster deals damage at the end of the round. So I decided I'd park Sabine there and let her take the two damage as opposed to having it shoot uh, another right. figure or two. Because the gangsters so. will do damage if they're still alive at the end of the round. So uh, Joe's focused Leia just took a shot at the three health gangster by his deployment zone and finished it off. That's right. So you guys are tied up three and three. And and I don't think he had played any command cards by that point to uh, allow him to redraw cards with Leia's uh, military efficiency uh, yes. ability. So it looks like you activated Han and just put him on the terminal there? That's correct. I, I got him in position so that he could take his end of round shot at, the, at that gangster uh, that um, to finish it off or cover the uh, these... Uh, hallway areas in case you know one of Joe's figures comes out um, Joe moving so, his Han yeah his Han is coming out getting himself in a good position for next round doesn't have any line of sight line of sight to anything though nope so but he, he is protected from me there all right so end of the round the uh, gangster is gonna you deploy gangsters first, right? Yes. So, gangster uh, there. Can't see anybody. And now the other gangster is going to deal two damage because Sabine is the closest figure to it, but she can recover two with her evasive maneuver. Yep, that was part of my thought too with positioning her there was that I could take the two damage and, you know, hopefully um, use her ability to pull that damage off a little later. So this is an interesting interaction. Um, Joe gets to move one of the gangsters. Uh, he has initiative, so he gets yes. to choose first. And he can move that gangster because into his Han's line of sight now. That's correct, because we roll to spawn a gangster, uh, then they shoot, and then the players get to move one uh, based on initiative. Yeah, so that's clever. Yeah, so he's able to bring that gangster out. Uh, to his Han, basically, mm -hmm. and his Han is focused. Ooh, yeah. um, so you can see uh, he moved his gangster. I moved this other one, even though didn't really need to. Um, and now we're going into the player end of round effects. So uh, Joe is taking his Han's end of round shot, which is focused, uh, at this gangster. So we're going to reroll here. 
still gonna be hard to. Yeah. Oh, you got exactly so, six. Yeah. So Han's max damage with a focus is nine, right. I believe. And he would need eight to kill it. Eight to kill it, and I'm pretty sure he got it. He got he exactly eight. Yep. He was able to one shot that gangster, so that worked out quite well for him uh, in round one. Yep, so now even though you were able to claim that uh, middle gangster, that little trick with Han is going to even you guys up here. That's right. That's right. So six and six. Yeah, end of round one, we've both killed two gangsters. Yeah, and here's my, this gangster only has one health left. So this is my Han end of round shot to finish off the other gangster. And now this is the start of round two. Initiative is coming to me. And you can see we're both in uh, pretty defensive positions here. Yep. And um, Joe's Han might be in a little bit of danger there. Yeah, Sabine can um, can come out and reach him pretty easily, but uh, hard, it's hard for Sabine to get a shot without suffering return fire mm -hmm. from Han in that position. Yep, she would definitely only be able to grenade, I think. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like you were saying, there's not a lot of spots where you could shoot at him without triggering return fire. So. Right, yeah. Well, that's kind of how you whittle down Han, though, is you use non-attacks to put damage on him, avoid his return yep. fire, and then hit him with a big attack to finish him off. Yeah, just get a little through on him. Yep. So, activating so I your... Think Go ahead. Yeah, I, I activated my R2 here to uh, scomp and draw a card, and then decided to move my R2 sort of out of the way, um, free up some more space right there in my box area. And also moves him out of uh, line of sight, because right where Joe's Han is, he can draw line of sight to a lot of your figures from where he is, uh, with just is one correct. space of movement. Yep, yep. Uh, I just activated my C-3PO to focus up Dracata and then actually moved my 3PO up. Um, now behind Dracata, this is the space where R2 just was. Um, so his Han, like you just said, his Han uh, can step up one space and actually draw a line of sight down to see my um, my C-3PO. Yeah, and when... Well, if you were going to give him a figure to shoot, you'd want it to be C-3PO, right? Two two points with a re-roll and a white die. That's true. who Han it's doesn't really want to shoot at. Correct, yeah. Okay, so Joe activating 3PO. And it looks like he's focusing Leia again. That sounds right. Let's yep, see. focus Leia. Because she had spent her focus on attacking a gangster last round. Yeah, I think he may have put that focus on Hera, actually. Oh, uh, so one thing I missed, at the end of round oh, one, right. when, I when I used Doubt, um, I think he had no focus uh, left on his figures. Mm. So I believe I pulled one of the block tokens off of Leia. Uh, and you can see that on his deployment card. She only has one now. So okay. at this point, he's already focused up Leia and Hera yep. at the start of round two. Yep. Um, going to be difficult for him to focus his Han, though, uh, yeah, since correct. he's so far Han out is... of position. That's right. That's right. Here we go. Shots. But, you know, unfocused oh, Han can still, Let's do, it. still do some real damage. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this was uh, maybe the first big uh, exciting play of the game. I've activated Dracata, and I have stepped out two spaces because I'm holding Arcing Shot here. So I'm, I've decided I'm going to step Dracata out and try to shoot at his Hera by targeting by using Arcing Shot to target an empty space adjacent to Hera. Um, the thought here is that where my Dracata is, I'm within three spaces of my own Hera. 
so I can get her Call the Shots ability to add accuracy or an extra damage or a surge. And if I remember correctly, I believe this was a range 7 shot to reach his Hera um, and a Focus Dracata with Hera as backup uh, has a minimum range of 7. Now, does it still count as range 7 if you're targeting the space that's 6 spaces away? Yeah, because you've got to count um, range to the figure. Ah, okay. But it is focused, and like you said, you have Hera, so it shouldn't be yep. difficult. And so it's a pretty... I think I got a pretty good attack on this roll. Um, I do remember my range was short on my dice. I think I ended up at 6 range. Uh, so in order to hit, I was going to need to use Hera's ability to call the shots and add plus 2 accuracy. Uh, and Joe is going through the calculations here. He has an evade built in from C-3PO. And Hera's also a smuggler. That is right. That's usually what I assume is happening when an opponent says, well, wait, before mods. <laughs> yep, you are, you are correct. Because <laughs> um, very likely you're to kill her with a focused attack. Yeah, and I thought, I thought if um, this is early round two, if Dracotta could step out and shoot Hera, perhaps before he's drawn on the lamb, mm -hmm. um, if I could eliminate Hera early, mm -hmm. that would be that'd be a big a big boost, you know, um, a good way to start. And especially when Hera is so tightly boxed up, uh, Dracotta has great surges, you know. Yep. Um, the shrapnel surge uh, allows her to choose to uh, do a, either a blast two or the other ability which says um, deal one damage to every figure within two spaces. Yep. And there's so, the on the lamb. That's right. Yeah, he had it. So, um, so I stepped Dracata out, played arcing shot, and sort of traded my arcing shot for his on the lamb. Uh, here, but as he reminded me, um, I was just trading arcing shot for on the lamb for now. Uh, uh, because of Leia. Spoiler: This may not be the last time uh, you see on the lamb. And that's <laughs> during this game. One of the great synergies of the lovers box is getting those command cards like on the lamb and miracle worker, multiple uses out of those, right? That's right, and that's exactly what uh, Joe had built his list for, was these kind of high value, high reward command cards that he could he could play and then use Leia's ability, her um, surge ability called military efficiency, which allows her to uh, uh, take a command card from her discard pile, uh, shuffle it back into her deck. Uh, so when a card like on the lambs in the discard, next time Leia attacks, if she has a surge, she can put that card back in the deck, and then he's got um, R2-D2 there to help him with card draw. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's a good it's a good, interesting and very challenging strategy that he's working. Yep, and he has to position them very carefully so that he's getting all of their uh, spacing based abilities to work. That's right, that's right. Um, After that attack, you can see I had to just move my Dracata back um, and kind of keep her safe. So are you feeling a lot of pressure in this game to be proactive here then? At this point, you know, I'm... Uh, this is round two, and I am content for now. Um, you can see there's no other gangsters on the map right now, no other objective points to go for. So I am sort of content for now to hang back, um, keep getting my focus my focus out there uh, I have not activated Gideon yet um, so at this point I'm looking to still hang back draw cards and focus up until I'm ready to make a big a big play here because um, arcing arcing shot was one of those moves where um, kind of risky to play it early but you know if I could 
if I could succeed with arcing shot there, that would have been a nice advantage to have early on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then part of the the thing about this map is Leia has a great advantage in that she has free figures that just show up and let her shoot at them to trigger her ability. That is correct. Yes. Um, you know, the other mission on this map is the uh, Propaganda War, um, uh, where you have to flip the posters over to gain victory points, um, which I think he would have the advantage in that mission because of his two smugglers. Mm. Those regular smugglers are uh, perfect for throwing them out there to spend movement points to um, flip the poster over. But like you said, this one is really not so bad for him either because it gives it typically gives Leia extra fairly safe targets to shoot at to get her abilities off. Uh, so what's happening here is he stepped his Han out one space and he has played Element of Surprise on my C-3PO, uh, which is a great, great play um, because C-3PO, uh, when C-3PO doesn't have a dice, you can't get that free reroll and um, he only has four health. So you're, basically your only hope is that he doesn't make range here. Looks like it's a range seven yeah. shot. It is, I forgot about the uh, Element of Surprise, that's why I was rolling a dice there, but yeah, range seven and four damage for Han is is uh, not too uh, no difficult else. for him. And I think he got it naturally. Doesn't have he needed... doesn't have Hera, doesn't have focus, does have a built in reroll, but it looks like he didn't need it. I don't think he needed it. I think he got range naturally and four damage is it's not not too hard for Han, so he, he was able to uh, one shot my 3PO and snipe him out of there. Um, which is very good play. So how big um, of a loss is that for you? Uh, well, at this point, when C-3PO is gone, so he's only a two-point figure. He is one of my two focusers, which matters. Um, I, I need as much focus as I can. Um, it's by no means is it a, a, a critical loss at this point in the game. Um, what it does mean is I, effectively, I no longer have a box to play with. My my list, um, I I kind of think of it as an offensive box. You know, early on in a in a round or in a in a game, I want to move my figures out, stay boxed up so that C3PO is providing that extra evade while I am getting focused up and while I'm drawing cards. And then once I've got um, once I've got my attackers focused and I've got a good amount of cards to work with, um, I can throw them out um, to offensive positions. I can step out and take shots and step back to the box. Um, so I've got options um, with the list. But once C-3PO is gone, um, I really have no more box, you know? Uh, so at this point, I really start... Um, looking at it and thinking that I need to start pushing my figures forward mm -hmm. um, which is what I've, I've just done here I've moved Hera out into a somewhat protected position his Han has already activated um, so Hera is safe from Han but I'm essentially trying to get Hera out there uh, so that I can move other figures up as well Hera's already in position to provide her bonus with call the shots. And I have Hera focus here. Yep. All right, so Sabine moving eight spaces and using parting gift on R2-D2. That's right. My Sabine is coming out. Um, I moved six spaces to get here and throwing uh, her parting gri gift grenade at R2, which I think hit for two damage. Yep. So that's an eight damage parting gift. Yep, splashing it around to R2, Hera, C-3PO, and Leia. So, like we were talking about, that area of effect does a lot of work when your opponent is putting all their figures all together in a tight box. Um, yeah. He does have MHD, though, so he can mitigate some of that damage. That's right. That is right. With his, uh, his that special action. Probably has to be thinking about... So Leia has a recover surge built in. 
Um, yep, C she has a surge for recover too. Mm -hmm. C-3PO is very key to Joe's strategy, so I'd imagine he's probably going to want to heal up 3PO here. So he's not one grenade away from dying. Right. Yeah, you have to be very careful. Um, yeah, when C-3PO is at 2 damage, um, there's a number of ways he could he could die at that point. And so let's see, it looks like you just have Han left. And Joe is down to just MHD, so... Yep, I think he's deciding... So he healed up Leia. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yep, wanted to keep Leia safe. Um, Leia is squishy. Uh, oh, yes. And you still have Han, so you could have threatened a end-of-round kill on Leia if you'd wanted to be aggressive like that. I yeah. Think, right? Yeah, but his his Han is in a great position to cover. Right. You know, if, if I throw anyone out there, his Han's also going to get an end-of-the-round shot. Right. Um, so now it's just where you're where you're going to put your Han. Yep. And here I'm really looking at it and thinking I need to get my Han out into a more offensive position. I need to have Han out there threatening um, some area of the map. And I've already got Sabine and Hera sort of in that that small room. There's not really a super safe spot for Han up there. Um, so I decided to throw my Han near his door, as you can. Oh, he still has his Leia to activate, so... That's right. Moving her up to, uh, to the shot at Hera, it looks like. That's right. I think this is his final activation of the round. Yep. So it's, it's a bold move. He's sending Leia out. I think he had to move her five spaces to get here. Um... But this is end of the round. Uh, the initiative is going to Joe in the next round, round three. So he's thrown Leia out for final activation attack on Hera. And his Leia is focused. And again, this is why I'm thinking he, he probably could have recovered with her surge ability. But he does want to be able to use military efficiency, which costs a surge. True. And the plus two damage is a surge as well. So, let's see. Three. I think you got two surges, so. Uh, no. Leia is notorious for rolling too many surges on her attacks. Yep. I think he did. I think he did a total of two damage to here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe two or three. I think I rolled double block, maybe. Looks like three. But yeah, it wasn't a high... Okay, he got three damage um, through onto Hera with that attack. Yep. And then shuffles in on the lamb with her ability. Yep. Which... And he that is... is he, he didn't... So his Leia is not in your Han's line of sight here? That's correct. My Han is... Yeah, there are multiple walls in between us right now so my Han does not have an end of round shot neither does his right uh, we're rolling for the new gangster and again oh yeah no we're good 3po just down to two health but those gangsters are semi predictable where they come down mm-hmm right Right, there's four spots where the gangsters can spawn mm -hmm. from. Yeah. So a player can kind of manipulate and make sure one of their figures won't get hit by them. Yeah. Um, so yeah. his uh, red red smuggler took uh, two damage from this gangster here. Scout. And then you moved it, uh, looks like, into the corner there? Yeah, I just tried to move it a little further away so that if he wants to shoot it... Let's get... Um, his little guys, like the smugglers and Hera, have to move a little further t in order to make range to reach it, you know? Yeah, because Hera doesn't have a surge for accuracy ability, so she can right. get be a little range uh, short sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so 
Looks like uh, initiative is passing to Joe this round. That's right. Yep, this is the start of round three. And do you remember what cards you had in your hand at this point? Um. So I think we're about to see uh, my hand not in not not too far away, but I believe I was holding. Um, I think I had Celebration and Rebel Graffiti. Uh, here at the start of the round, I tried to play Take Initiative. Mm -hmm. And he had negation. Joe mentioning um, that surely you must have lamb at this point. Uh huh. So this is the uh, start of round for Joe. He is taking his shot with Leia against Hera again. I played brace for impact, add an extra black dice to the attack. And the, this is no battlefield leadership on this one, so. Correct, and this is an unfocused Leia, so it's two yellow dice and a blue uh, against my two black dice. I rolled three blocks total on my defense here, which is not bad. So, Joe talking through things makes it sound like he must have some kind of command card to play on this attack. Yeah, he's thinking through his... Uh, options about what he wants to do here I think it was a fairly low attack from um, Leia you know she only has she has a damage surge for plus two damage uh, and there he goes tucking another um, card I believe this was oh that's what he was debating he was deciding which card he was gonna shuffle back in the deck Ah, uh, okay and I think his choices were between Element of Surprise and Negation. And he chose, he had just played Negation to mm -hmm. block my take initiative, so I think he took Negation and put it back into the deck. And that's probably for Rebel Graffiti. Correct, because I've got Rebel Graffiti, I'm also running Celebration. Yeah. Um, so negating either of those cards can be a big deal. And those are two cards that can put a lot of pressure on Joe's more defensive style list when you can rack up free uh, victory points. Yeah, absolutely right. And that's one of the things that I really want to be able to do is if I can if I can get an early lead through one or two kills or through extra victory points with those cards, it can put pressure on the opponent to come to me, which is what my list really wants. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, here I am stepping out with my Hera to take a shot at his R2-D2 because um, he's a little exposed and I have a focused Hera. I played Element of Surprise on this attack try to, to try to snipe R2 and he played Stealth Tactics to get his white dice back. Uh, okay. So a focused Hera, four dice attack. He has the evade built in from C-3PO but he did not roll the dodge or the blank to get lucky. Um, I think it was just a single symbol. Uh, R2 uh, already had... Yep. He R2 had two had damage two, on him. Mm -hmm. Yep. He had two damage on him already, yep. so this attack was going to kill R2, but he played Miracle Worker right there. Yep. There it is. And that's another card that can then get shuffled back with Leia. Absolutely. So, you know, I had a focused Terra out there. I, I wanted to... Terra has five damage on her after those two attacks you know i felt like i needed to get something out of hera in case he dove in to to remove her mm -hmm. so it, it seemed like a, a good option especially with element if i could um hera putting four damage through on r2 you know seemed like good odds if i could remove r2 it's a start i think i was holding celebration at this point mm -hmm. so um you know you got to try those things uh I did get Miracle Worker out of his hand um, mm -hmm. for now, so that was something. Yep, but um, so powerful with Leia to be able to put those back. It's important to note that since he shuffled uh, on the land back end, he's drawn, I think, three cards here. Uh, That's right. Two end of round and then one with R2-D2 there. Right. 
So normally in a normal game, once they play those powerful one of cards, you don't have to really worry about them anymore. Uh, but against Joe's list, it's it can I imagine it could get very frustrating, knowing oh, that, that these cards are going to keep coming back. It's a very different um, it's a very different style of Imperial Assault because, mm -hmm. like you said, those are the the really big once per game cards that can swing a game right mm -hmm. on the lamb by itself one time can swing a game um but there's not too many times when you have to face on the lamb more than one you know what i mean yep and to joe's credit there aren't a lot of players that can get the the kind of value that he's getting out of his games with leia um she requires a lot of patience and a lot of very strong defensive play because it's a long game right it's like kind of a long con to be shuffling right. cards in and then redrawing them from the deck. Correct. It, it does take a lot of finesse. So this is my Sabine activation. I moved her up two and tried to do the parting grenade gift on um, a parting gift grenade onto R2, which would have hit four figures. Mm -hmm. But I rolled the single surge. So this was this was no damage. And uh, Miracle Worker puts the figure at two health or three? Uh, three. So okay. R2 is at 3 damage. This was actually a really disappointing Sabine activation because I came out, threw the grenade, the grenade did nothing, and then I tried to have focused Sabine shoot R2 again mm -hmm. to, to remove him again. Now I know Miracle Worker isn't in play, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but he actually rolled the blank yep. on R2's dice, which counts as a dodge. Yeah, R2's got so, the 3 dodge. Yeah. So, um, right, so that was Sabine's grenade, which if I had hit the double damage side, which I think is a 50-50 on the green dice, that would have taken out C-3PO that's in right. the back. Oh, that's right. Um, but I got no damage on the grenade, and he dodged the attack, so I couldn't trigger Sabine's uh, blast one surge ability, which would have been nice. But um, you did get the uh, Rebel Graffiti to go through there. So. That's that's right. That was the uh, missed all of Sab Sabine's offensive power, but I still got Rebel Graffiti off. He did not have negation uh, again at mm -hmm. this point. He's already played negation once and recycled it, um, but he did not have it in his hand at this time. So I was able to play Rebel Graffiti and put it back into my hand uh, to tie up the game uh, eight to eight right now. So both of you pretty dug in here. Um, he does have Han who could get up there and shoot at Sabine, but probably wouldn't be able to get back to a safe spot. True. Well, actually, yeah, he could get back to that spot he was in on round one. Yes. Yeah, he's got to move at least three spaces to get a shot off. Uh, he can't, and I don't think he can. Oh no, he can. He can focus him with Gideon if Gideon moves out. Yeah. So looks like he went with three PO. Three PO, and I think he focused Leia again. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so I'm sending my R2 back over to the terminal to draw another card. So this game kind of just turns into uh, kind of a game of chicken. Who blinks first? Who moves out into the open first? It's true. The first half of the game uh, is is pretty slow. We're both jockeying for position. We're both we both want to draw cards. We both want to get focused up. Um, we are approaching approaching kind of the halfway point where things really accelerate. I think I heard that they were talking about who's the beatdown on the podcast. That's right. Yeah. Um, I've not read that article. I've heard about it before, um, so I'm a little familiar with it. But, uh, yeah, definitely an interesting um, uh, strategy approach when thinking about this game. Yeah. And um, the, the gist of it, for those who don't know, is that when you're playing a game against someone you have to figure out who needs to be the aggressive player and who needs to be the conservative player because if you're both trying to take the same role one of them one of the lists is going to be doing it better than the other one that's the gist absolutely of 
And I think in the beginning of this game, up to this point, I have been playing somewhat conservatively. Um, although you can see I've got my figures out to kind of the halfway point across mm -hmm. the map. Um, I haven't really been able to land any damage on on his figures yet, other than the one Sabine grenade. Yep, and it's important to say, like, just because you might decide you need to be the aggressive player, that doesn't mean you should just take a Spectre Cell approach and dive bomb in there. You, you, Correct. You, you're still playing to your strengths, li uh, your list strengths, which is you have good ranged attacks and you have good area of effect, so you need to stay hidden uh, even though you yep. still have to, you're, and, you're pushing your game plan here. Yeah. And you can see he's making attacks over at the gangster on his side of the map um, using his regular smugglers, which, you know, for a regular smuggler attack to get through two blocks um, is actually pretty good. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that doesn't always work. That, yeah, that's unexpected. They only have like a surge for Pierce One, I think, with a green and a yellow. Right. Right, so it's it's easy for those guys to uh, fall flat against uh, two blocks, but you can see he's been able to put, um, I think at this point he's got three or four damage on that gangster just uh, from his own smuggler shot. Yep. Which again means that the pressure is a little bit on you uh, since right, he's got he gets he's, farm victory points there. He's about to get another one and I don't have a gangster to shoot at right now. Which can make uh, make missions like these a little bit frustrating when it's kind of like a random number generator determining it's things. It's true. It's, it's true. It, that randomness can... Uh, you just never know um, what's going to happen. Yep. It, At this point, I'm activating my Gideon, and I'm, I'm seeing that I really need to make this offensive push somewhere. So this was a tough call, tough choice, but instead of using Gideon to focus and push someone, I decided to send Gideon around the back to open that door. Yep. Um, I, I have. I feel like I have my Han in a good position out there, and I'm looking for a way to get Dracata around, um, close to where my Han is. So, um, yeah, I decided to throw my Gideon out there to pop that door. He's a little. Um, Joe's Han doesn't have a straight shot at him from where he's sitting, um, because of the red line terrain in the middle of the map, mm -hmm. but. Um, you know, I figured if I can get my Gideon out here, he will be in good position for future rounds to provide focus and movement um, to my Han or my Dracata if I can get her over there. Yeah, I, I, I really like this play that you've made. I think a lot of players ignore the doors on this map um, too much. And Joe's created basically a, a choke point, which his list benefits a lot from. Uh, he yes. loves that bottleneck that he has up there where Han is. So if you that's can right. flank him. That's what I was that's what I was seeing. I needed to find another way in to get to his list. Yep. Get to that juicy underbelly of this that's list. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, because you know, with the way that he needs to keep his setup, um, he really kinda has to keep his box in that location where it is right now. There's not too many other effective places he can set up that box on this map. Um, mm -hmm. Simply because he has so many figures and figures that he really needs to keep protected. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, like he needs MHD very well protected in the back of the box. So I'm throwing my Dracata out there. Um, in the middle of the map, trying to keep her protected behind Han. So if he wants to shoot at Dracata, it's it's going to be difficult mm -hmm. for him. Yep, she's got the two those blocking terrain lines around it. Yep. Now is Joe actually now considering he's opening up, the door? Uh, he's sending his Hera to. I, at one point, I I thought maybe he was going to open the door. That would have been great for me. Yeah. But he's using his Hera to shoot that gangster. Ah, uh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. But he's also moving her closer to the the door where, you know. Yeah. This is there. a um. 
range five shot for Hera, which she could whiff on, but he was able to get it and finish that gangster off. Yeah, nice three, shot. She was focused. She yeah. Right um, but now you have the option of opening her door with Han, right? Yes. And then you get an end and round shot. I think he possibly. I think he was tipping his hand a bit here with that positioning of Hera. Um, because you can see where he's decided to leave her, and she is really... He, he had options where he could have taken that same shot and tucked Hera um, sort of in between MHD and the Red Smuggler. Mm -hmm. um, but he chose to leave her there, which um, to me says that's a good sign that he's got on the lamb uh, and he's kind of leaving Hera as bait out there. Yep, and using her to block line of sight to the, his other figures. Right, right. But, of course, your Han can move up um, next to his smuggler and get a really nice shot on MHD there. That's true. Um, I am one space away from the door right now. Right. With my Han, so I'm not adjacent to the door. But you can um, move, open it, and then move up, and then have an end of round shot. Yeah, so what I did here was actually play Heart of Freedom. Oh, nice. So I'm able to move up one uh, because Heart of Freedom gives me two movement points. Mm -hmm. So I moved out one space, used my first action to open the door, and now I'm in position um, to take a shot and still have one movement point left. Uh, and you can see he hasn't really given me a lot of good targets. Right. The only things I can shoot at are either Hera or either of the regular smugglers. So all smugglers. All smugglers. All on the lamb. And his hair, his hair is at full health right here. Yep. Unfocused Han shot would need two shots to kill Hera normally. That's right. Um, and my thought process here was shooting at regular smugglers with Han Solo feels bad um, because they have a chance to dodge. Uh, he could play on the lamb with them if he wants to, and they're only worth two points. Okay, so, so I decide to shoot at Hera, and I play tools for the job, um, thinking that he probably has on the lamb, but still wanting to try to one-shot Hera to force out on the lamb. Oof. You know what I mean? It looks like you got one damage with the red, and we rolled into a one damage. You are correct, sir. Uh, that is not what you want with tools for the job. No. <laughs> um, so I don't think this was enough damage to one-shot her, actually. Um, I think I was going to get to about six. Six damage. Um, so, but go ahead. Again, you can, you can see... You know, I didn't have great options here. I think shooting Hera was my best option. And I wanted to either kill her or force him to play on the lamb, which he did. Uh, no. Did he play? Uh, nope, she took nope, five damage nope. there. He took the damage. Yeah, he took five damage. So, so ideally, a good Han attack with tools for the job would be enough to put seven damage on Hera and then he would have to choose, you know, mm -hmm. lose the figure or play on the lamb, but I've only been able to do five there. I find it interesting he didn't play on the lamb there since he could have avoided five damage and then shuffled it back in next round. Yeah, it's a little risky because, you know, with things like Dracata and Sabine, I there's the potential for me to deal two damage. Um to Hera without having to attack her, mm -hmm. you know. I would usually, I would probably take that as a sign he didn't have it. But you, since you don't have any more activations, there's not much you can do with it. It's true. Yeah. Um, do you think, in hindsight, would you have maybe gone for the smugglers instead? To get just to get the victory points. Um. It's a tough call. Yeah. Uh, you know, shooting the smugglers might not have been a bad approach. I could have saved tools for the job and taken a shot there. And if they don't dodge, either he loses the figure or he has to play on the lamb. Um, 
So he 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 was happy to shoot Gideon with his Han, focused Han. Yes. So he threw his focused Han out there and was able to. Um, I think he played. I think he may have played Heart of Freedom here because I yeah. think he just moved. He did. Six. He yeah. Did. So he moved four, one shot my Gideon to give himself another three points, and then you can see he's positioned his Han to get a shot at either my Sabine or Hera for end of round. So, so we're spawning the next gangster. Gangster with minus Hit. sight to nothing. Oh no, to R2D2, I think. Yep, so my R2 takes uh, two damage from this gangster. So now end of round shot. Uh, um, I think we... Looks like it's a Hera. I think he had the opportunity to move this gangster and did not. Yeah, it looks like he didn't move it. Right, so this is his Han taking end of round shot at my Hera. Mm -hmm. My Hera has five damage on her. You you guys would have drawn command cards at this point, so you've seen some more command cards. There, yeah, there he um, remembered to move that gangster. So the gangsters moved. I did draw cards. Um, my Hera only has two health left, and his Han has shot her. So I'm holding on the lamb, and this is um, this is me deciding where to put Hera with on the lamb. Um, or thinking about should I play it? My only smugglers are Hera and Han. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't see him shooting at my Han right now. So um, I wanted to save Hera, but if you if you look at where she's located, there's not a lot of great places to put her with on the land. I can get out of Han's line of sight, but my Hera. It's going to be pretty exposed um, wherever she goes. Yep. It looks like if you uh, move her towards Drakata in the middle, then you're going to be exposed to the rest of Joe's list with Leia and Hera shooting at her. Yep. You can move her up uh, to the, the gangster. The space that he moved that gangster to, that would have actually been a great um, protected space oh. for Hera to be in mm -hmm. because there's a red line blocking... Um, from the rest of his list, but those gangsters are considered figures, and I can't go onto that space. Right. So I, it, yeah, I took a uh, a minute or two here, counting squares and trying to decide, you know, what do I do with Hera? This is at the end of round three. Um, Joe had the initiative, so it should be coming to me. Um. So, yeah, really kind of wrestling with where do I put Hera? Um, that could be meaningful. I think at this point in the game, I was really seeing writing on the wall that, like, I'm going to lose Hera at some point. I'm going, it's going to be very difficult for me to not lose my Hera in this game. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking about how can I get something out of her before she goes. Because you have to be worried about take initiative. His Han is ex uh, putting a lot of pressure on the entire board from where he's at. So now you're doing your Han end of round shot on Hera? That's right. I'm shooting at his Hera. She only had two health left. And there comes on the lamb for the second time. Second on the line from Joe. Yep. So, um, yeah, so that was, again, you know, Han's end of round shot. Um, so I don't know exactly if he had on the lamb the first time right. that Han shot at Hera in the last round or if he drew it at the end of round, but that Hera positioning really made me think he probably had it. And he could have let her take the damage there just to keep you from wanting to shoot at those smugglers. Sure. Um, just to kind of make you shoot her twice and deny the points for two shots. Yeah. Because he can also yeah. heal her now with er, with MHD. Yep. He, and, and now his hero is right next to MHD. And Joe has played Take Initiative here, so he is going to get to activate first this round. That's correct. So this is the start of round four. 
Um, he had initiative in round three, and now he's got it again in round four. And you can see my Hera is just sitting right out in the middle. Oh, um, there's an intelligence leak, it looks like, from Leia. That's, he's, yep, he activated Leia first and played Intel leak. So the cards, okay, the cards I was holding at this point, I had Celebration, I had Tough Luck, I had Rebel Graffiti, I had Collateral Damage, which is one of Dracata's cards, um, and I also had Heightened Reflexes, which only Sabine can play. So there were two victory point cards, Celebration and Rebel Graffiti. Uh, Tough Luck is always a good card, um, especially since I have Doubt. And then, so he chose to use, to get Rebel Graffiti out. It's a zero cost card, so Leia doesn't even have to take any strain. Yeah, I was thinking either Graffiti or Celebration there. Yeah, so now his Leia has moved out to take a shot at my Sabine and you can see his Han is also in position for that battlefield leadership. So, unfocused Leia attack, he plays officer's training and I think the dice actually gets worse, but he does get to draw a card, which is a big deal. Um, this is where, uh, okay, so he's he's got a surge to spend on military efficiency. And at this point, he has the choice between redrawing Miracle Worker or On the Lamb for the third time. Yep. Uh, and he, he decides to take On the Lamb mm -hmm. and shuffle it back into the deck. Yep. So he's getting ready to make the second attack of um, Battlefield Leadership coming from Han. And this is where my round one positioning mistake comes back to bite me. So my Sabine took two damage in round one because of that gangster attack. Oh. Um, I was never able to heal it. And so at the start of this round, Sabine only had nine health left. Leia uh, only, I think Leia did three damage, which brought my Sabine up to five. His Han needed to deal six to finish her. And I think I blanked out on my dice. So I lose I lose my Sabine there at the start of round four. That is that um, double tap. Yep. If my Sabine had been at full health with 11 health, it is incredibly difficult and unlikely for unfocused Leia and unfocused Han to remove her in two shots. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Without some command um, cards. Yeah. yeah. Han's max damage is seven, uh, and then Leia needs to deal four past that, which is not not easy. So, yeah, taking that round one damage on Sabine came back to bite me there. And you can see in this game, my Sabine did not she did not do a lot. I got one good grenade, and then she she sort of whiffed. Um, in the last round, I got Rebel Graffiti off once, which definitely matters. Uh, but it's gone now. It's been burned with Intel Leak, and my Sabine is gone. And you can see the scoreboard is not looking good for me. Uh, yeah. Joe is up 21 to 8. And things are looking... Things are not looking great for yeah. me at this point, you know? Things are looking pretty dire for you here. Yeah. So I really start honing in on I, I i know what the score is and i really start honing in on you know what do i need to remove to stay in this game um this is the beginning of round four i have not activated anything yet i am activating my Hera right now and at this point i really start to turn my sights onto his leia right because he's thrown his leia out into the middle of the map at the beginning of the round she's mm -hmm. going to be sitting there the whole time and she's worth eight points. And so I really start focusing in on the idea that like, I need to remove Leia. I need to get those eight points from her um, just to have a chance of staying in this game. Mm -hmm. And you do have your Hera here. Hera was My Hera's scared. still alive. She only has two health left. Uh, but I'm, I'm, again, I'm wrestling with what to do with Hera to try to get some value out of her.
I definitely was not expecting to lose Sabine that quickly. And I will say, um, I think that was another, probably another uh, mistake on my part during those attacks where Leia and Han both shot at Sabine. Mm -hmm. uh, I was holding tough luck. So I do think that would have been the time during this game for me to deplete doubt and force him to reroll uh, one of Han's dice. Oh, that's and right. Then use, and then use tough luck to get rid of it, and my Sabine would have survived. That's right. Um, I ha yeah, I, I had tough luck there, had not depleted doubt. Um, thinking back on this game, I think that would have been the moment where it would have... Uh, had the greatest value mm -hmm. um, keep Sabine alive and get another activation out of her um, but yeah. alas uh, she's gone now interestingly so. Joe has put his Han in a position where you could actually shoot him without a return fire yeah I could get a I could get a shot at his Han however I know that he shuffled on the lamb back into the deck again mm, right. and so at this point, I am pretty hesitant to want to engage his Han. Mm -hmm. And they are both pretty far away from MHD, so... It's it's true, they're pretty far out there, yeah. Did he shuffle Miracle Worker? Is Miracle Worker in the deck or in the gra uh, discard uh, pile? Miracle Worker is in the graveyard in his discard pile. He does have on the lamb back in the deck at least okay um which i think just got shuffled off of the leia attack so okay right. so he has he hasn't had an opportunity to draw more cards since then um but on the lamb should be in his deck currently okay so we're gonna take the shot at leia right i decide i need to put some damage on leia and i decide to use my Hera to go after her um so Leia has the built-in evade, and I think I roll absolutely terrible here. I think this was three single symbols on mm -hmm. Hera's dice. Or, yeah, so you can see I had two damage and two surges. He had two evades and a block. So I, I was able to put one damage through on his Leia with my Hera shot, um, which is not great. So Really neat. Joe here now activating his Hera with a planning. Yes. He, he played planning. He played planning, and then he played Hour of Need. And we're in round four. four, so he just pulled four damage off of his Hera. Um, his Hera first action was planning, and then he's taking a shot at my Han with uh, his Hera. And tell us what just happened there. Yeah, his Hera is in a protected space where I can't return fire to her mm -hmm. so um it was kind of funny Hera took the shot at han uh i rolled a dodge um onto the keyboard it wasn't in the dice box um so i i re-rolled it uh into the box and got another dodge nice. <laughs> so you know it feels good but you know han dodging a Hera attack is not the most significant thing um, so you played planning to draw your last two command cards. That's right. I think I played... Yeah, I used R2 to scomp and then played planning with him as well. And then discarded the uh, heightened reflexes. Heightened reflexes since Sabine is dead. I I was able to bury that card with heroic effort when mm -hmm. Sabine died. I think that was the only time I remembered to use heroic effort during this game. <laughs> um, that's always a struggle, you know remembering those heroic effort triggers when you need them um well so far you've only lost 3po and sabine i think right and and gideon oh and gideon okay yep and i know that my hera is not long for the world she's only got two health and i have no more on the lamp no casualties so, for joe yet so i'm looking at the scoreboard and i know He's going to get points off of my Hera, and he's going to be going up to 25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so things are definitely looking dire. So like you said, you're just looking for where are the victory points for you to get. Yes. 
So I'm activating Dracata here, and I've got a plan for a big activation with Dracata. Um, I... He's already played on the lamb twice. Uh, however, it is not in his discard pile at this point. And he's drawn three cards, or no, two cards right now. <laughs> I think so. I, I think he only has two or three cards left in his deck. So I'm activating Dracata, and I'm cons I am I want to go in and take a shot at Hera. Uh, yeah, he only has two cards left in his deck. I want to take a shot at Hera, but I also know that if if he's able to play on the lamb again uh, with Hera and, and cancel my Dracata attack, uh, I that may just be too much you know what i mean like that might be game over i might not be able to get back in this yep um if he plays on the lamb for the third time <laughs> but of course if you don't attack him it doesn't change the fact that he's got on the lamb and half sure. of his list is smugglers so that's right i've got to do something eventually and normally that's why you just power through it but it's so when he gets to oh, just yeah. keep reusing it it's pretty hard this was definitely a um, a test of uh, mental fortitude, I would say, <laughs> during this game, mm -hmm. um, because you know I was seeing on the lamb twice. Um, I was really trying to stay, you know, stay positive and just kind of keep keep going, keep trying to make something happen. So here I moved Dracata up three spaces. Uh, I didn't actually need to move her three spaces here. I could have moved her up two and accomplished the same thing. Um, this was a bit of a mistake, but you'll see in a in a moment that it ends up working out in my favor. So I moved Dracata up three, and I want to shoot Hera, but I don't have line of sight to her right now. Um, so I am considering where to use Demolish. So I decide I'm going to put Demolish on Hera's space, which does one damage to all adjacent figures. And his Red Smuggler already had two damage on him. So I'm able to just wipe out that Red Smuggler with Demolish by itself, which is nice. Yep, and that was from Sabine way back in the second round, I think. Actually from the gangster that spawned oh, over here and shot his Red Smuggler. So... I moved Rakata out three. I could have moved her two, um, but I've moved her out three spaces. I've demolished. I moved back one, and now I'm shooting at Hera from here. So and collateral damage. On the, on the lamb would absolutely ruin my day here. One, two, three, four. Search for demolish for the damage. It sounds like you've got four hits. Yes, and Sabi uh, Hera now has two damage on her. One from that Demolish that just came through. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, let's see. I think I had enough to push four damage through and one Surge so that I could trigger her Shrapnel Surge to deal one damage to all figures within two spaces, including Hera. Including herself. So there's a kill. No on the lamb. And no on the, the lamp. I killed Hera. I tried to play celebration. He did negation. Oh, okay. That was his. That was his second negation. And then a um, so, so I couldn't get the extra points from Hera, but I was able to play collateral damage. So in this attack, I used shrapnel to put one more damage on three PO, and that brought him up to two. Then I was able to play collateral damage to put two more damage on C three PO and kill him there. Huge, huge activation. Three figures. So I was at three figures wiped out. I, if I had been able to get Celebration off, um, I'd be at 22 points. But um, now he's played Negation twice. Once to cancel my Take Initiative and once to cancel Celebration. Mm -hmm. So that was a big activation. I just went from eight points. The scoreboard is actually wrong right now, and we, uh, okay. we figure it out. Um, I killed... A regular smuggler, I killed C-3PO, and I killed Hera. So I went from 8 points to 16 points. Um, we had to recalculate and adjust the scoreboard here in a moment. Still so playing. I really needed that. I really needed a big Dracata swing to get back in the game. Yep. Um, 
but you can see my Dracata is kind of out in the middle. My Dracata has one damage on her. I think I took a damage from my Demolish ability. Um, yeah, because my command deck is actually empty now. I've drawn all my cards at this point, so I had to take the strain as damage for Dracata's Demolish. So we're still uh, recalculating, trying to figure out. <laughs> um, figure out that we should be at 21 to 16 rather than 21 to 18. Yep, figuring out the score there. Yeah. Um. There you go. Twenty-one to sixteen. So still five points behind, but now it's more. It's become a game. Still ran, right? Yeah. Still five points behind, and I know he's gonna kill my Hera and pick up another four points. Yep. But must feel nice to have gotten the Hera kill. Um before he draw, drew on the lamb again. Somewhere in those two cards. Yeah. I think I think he had three cards in the deck. I think he had drawn one of them. Uh, and then so currently on the lamb is one of those two cards in his in his deck. So yeah, I, I needed that break there. Um, I think a third on the lamb and I just I I don't know how I could have come back uh, from that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so let's see. You have Han left. I think your only activation left. He's got Gideon and Han. And his Han. His yep. Han still and a uh, smuggler. hasn't activated. And there is a yeah. three-point gangster sitting there. That's right. That right at now this point, is doing looking yeah. at Leia to do two damage if nobody kills it. Uh, say that again. Uh, so at this point, if nobody takes out that gangster, it's going to be putting two damage on Leia. That is correct. Yep. Uh, currently, it has line of sight at Leia, and it even has line of sight at my Dracata. But yeah, I think Leia is the closest figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, at this point, I I only have Han left, and I am my next target is Leia. Mm -hmm. uh, I I need to take out his Leia. Eight points puts me up to twenty four, and gives me a shot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's activated his Han, and is actually moving him over to shoot at my Dracata, <laughs> which is an interesting choice here. Like I said, my positioning, um, I didn't have to put Dracata out this far. I could have only moved two and kept her hidden behind these red lines. Mm -hmm. um, it was a bit of a positioning mistake on my part, but in the end, um, he brought his Han over to shoot my Dracata rather than finishing off Hera at this point. So Well, he rerolls there, and you still have tough luck. Yep. Um, he played tools, got a red dice. Uh, I'm using a block token here. I think I rolled two blocks. I think I have a total of four blocks on this attack. Uh, looks like we're just one block on the dice. So three blocks. Yeah, I think he was able to deal... Yeah, I think you're right. Single block. I think he was able to deal four damage here, which puts Dracata up to five damage total. Five out of twelve. Tough luck not coming out here. Oh, okay. So um, he I and I don't. If he re-rolled, I don't think it was. Um, don't think it was a super significant re-roll. I think I'm. Yep. It's tough luck still in my hand at this point. Okay. And you still have doubt, so you can tough luck on attack on demand. So it makes that's, sense to save that. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, and Dracata at five damage on her. I still have a block token. Um, I'm holding stealth tactics at this point. I have it in my hand. Mm -hmm. So the only thing he can really threaten Dracata with is Han. You know, mm -hmm. if anything else shoots at Dracata, I'm not worried about that. Interesting that he didn't go after Hera because you haven't used called shots yet. You are correct, and I think um, I think if you ask uh, Joe, he would tell you he wishes he had eliminated Hera at that point. 
He did move his Han to protect Leia from that gangster. Yep. Which is a good Yeah, move. that was a good move. Um, he's got end of round shot at Hera, at my Hera, easily. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a good position for protecting protecting Leia for it, sure. It would be interesting if he had reversed that and gone after Hera and then end of round for Dracotta. So he had me worried here. Um, he threw out his regular smuggler to attack my Han, trying to go for a stun. Uh, and if he had been able to stun my Han here, that's another moment that would have been really rough. Um, he did roll four damage on his... It was double damage on each dice with his regular smuggler, but no surges. I had a block token, and I rolled one block and one evade. Oh, so, you had the block token. Okay. Yeah. And he's behind blocking terrain, so, the, so Han can't see him. That's that's right. So I can't shoot back, and his regular smuggler deals two damage to Han, which is not bad. The disrespect. So, yeah. So here goes my Han to shoot at his Leia. His Leia only has one damage on her. She has seven health left. Han's max damage output. His max roll is 7. This is great positioning here. Yeah. So, uh, and I needed I needed to I needed to take the shot. I needed to try to eliminate her. He actually rolls a blank on his uh, dice. I think I had looks like 5 damage. Yeah, I think I had 5 damage showing here. Um So he has one evade built in on Leia's card and he rolled a blank. I need to get to 7 damage. Um, my green dice both have double damage. And you have no surges at this point. I have zero surges. Um, you are... This is a very low percentage shot for Han to make to, to finish her off. So re uh, but I re-roll into exactly what I need. I get damage and a surge on that blue dice. But Ryan, you only have one surge against Leia's evade. What will you what do? What am I going to do? Uh, that, that is positioning that has been afforded to me because Hera is still alive. I'm able to use call the shots oh. and, and get another surge to deal exactly seven damage. And now you have line of sight onto his Han from behind a blocking terrain. That's which is true. the thing I love about this positioning is you got rid of yeah. her and now you get to take an end of round shot on his Han for free. Yes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that was a big, that was a very, that was a huge turning point. Um, Joe has played I super think, tight this whole game, so oh yeah, you know that seems that could feel like not a big deal to leave Hera there when you know you're gonna kill her next round or at the end of the round, but right. Oof. But letting me get, and so you know, when Hera made when my Hera made her first attack against Leia she low rolled a little bit and only did one damage right yeah um so if those dice average out and Hera can put two damage into leia then han only needs to do six um you know i think i had good odds but he's always got the chance to dodge if he had a dodged one of those attacks there that would have been big okay so now we're in the end of round gangsters are moving yep two we spawned a new gangster um one is shooting Han, putting two damage on the Han, and the other one is actually hitting my Dracata. Yep. Okay. And Joe has initiative, so he gets the first choice of which gangster he wants to move, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that, that gangster shot puts my Dracata up to seven damage out of 12, so she only has five health remaining. Now. That's kind of scary. No, I think Joe had a chance to protect himself here if he had moved that gangster, uh, yeah I think I think he's um, I think he remembers to move the gangster here let's see so he's he's getting ready to take his end of round Han shot against my Hera um, I'm I'm considering you know where do I take my end of round shot because at this point his command deck is empty He's drawn all of his cards, and so is mine. So I know he has on the lamb again. He moves right? it away. Uh, for the third time. Right. So 
That's um, right, he does have on the lamb in his hand. We know that now. Yeah, we know it's in his hand. Um, he, you can see he moved that gangster towards his terminal. And then I have the chance to move the gangster. This is very important gangster positioning. Mm -hmm. You'll see later. So I moved that gangster up next to my Dracata. So again, Joe could have blocked line of sight to his Han with the gangster, but probably didn't want to give you the three victory points for it. Yeah, perhaps. I uh, so <laughs> think he wanted to try to get those points for himself. And so he, he there he, he goes. He, he finally got my Hera out of there. So, yep. Kills your Hera. He has on the lamb, but this is his last copy because Leia is dead. Right. So, the trouble with me shooting at his Han here is that if he plays on the lamb, he can probably get to a position where uh, he gets to return fire against me and I can't shoot him back. Oh, you know what I mean? That's true. So, really, my only other target is shooting at his regular smuggler, who can also play on the lamb. Right. So that was my choice, was do I shoot at his Han, do I shoot at the smuggler? The smuggler seemed like an easier way to force out on the land. Okay. So taking the shot at the smuggler, and if he doesn't play it, I get two points, right? Yep. But he rolls a dodge. Oh. And he gets the so move. So he didn't even have to play it. With Nimble. Um, and then you can see he moves his smuggler two spaces away uh, after the attack resolves. Mm -hmm. That's the smuggler's ability. Yep. Yep. So, the initiative has gone to me. Uh, this is the start of round five, I believe. Um, maybe this is the start of round six. Do you know what the total time was since it's the finals? I think... I think on finals, it's a two-hour time limit. Okay. Um, let me see if he plays more cards here. So you guys have both played Take Initiative at this point. So he's, he's actually played Take Initiative twice. We went to six rounds, and in this game, I only had initiative in round two and not again until round six <laughs> so with leia's recycles um he got initiative in round three in round four he was able to play take initiative and then it, he was able to recycle it and i believe in round five play take initiative again so he's going to play it and, here again uh i think this is the start of round six if i'm not mistaken i think this is our final round Oh, yeah, okay. I think he's played take initiative twice at this point, unless unless I'm mistaken about that. I know his recycles were on the lamb and negation, and he was able to play each of those twice. And I thought he was able to play take initiative twice as well. Um, I think he only did on the lamb twice, and then negation has his Leia shuffles. But uh... yeah, I could be. Could be miscounting uh, okay. that. Um, but it looks so like this, you're activating Dracata here. I'm activating Dracata, and you can see the score right now. He's at 25, I'm at 24. I only have three figures on the map mm -hmm. R2, Han, and Dracata. Uh, I've got this gangster right in front of me, and he has positioned his smuggler right next to the gangster. That blue smuggler has one damage on it. <laughs> oh. So I'm looking. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, I'll shoot the gangster, and if I can get a surge, I can blast two to eliminate that smuggler. Yep. So that's the shot. That's the shot I take right here. I did get one surge. I think I dealt um, five damage, which the gangster blocks two of it, and then I had one surge to do blast two to kill that smuggler so that helps me get around not having to shoot the white dice or deal with on the lamb mm -hmm. of his smugglers you know yep. and you're just you're just looking for victory points wherever you can get them here i'm trying to get anything i can any kills any points i can get so um 
long time. Oh, yeah. This is, I think time has been called at this point, and they've told us that this is the final round. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so we are really crunching that scoreboard. I can see he's at 25. I can see that he is going to have a difficult time picking up more points with what's on the board right now. Um, so I take the shot with Dracata, I put three damage on the gangster, and I blast two to remove his smuggler and go up to 26. So your Dracata has five health left with a block that's token. Right. That's right. And if he can kill my Dracata, he's got it. Easily. So this is where I end up having to put Dracata at the end of the round. Or, or at the end of her activation. Mm -hmm. Um... She was kind of in the middle. I was able to take a shot, remove a figure, and now I'm trying to trying to get her into a defensive position as best as I can. And now, Joe has to choose between picking up three points on a gangster or trying to get nine from Drakata. That's right. That's right. And so I know that if he if he shoots the gangster, um. He's going to have a difficult time getting a shot at Dracata because I can block line of sight to her um, by putting a figure right above where Dracata is sitting. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have enough movement point to get there. So if he shoots that gangster, he's probably not going to get to shoot Dracata at the end of the round, you know? Right. And if so he goes for Dracata... Yeah, go ahead. If he goes for Dracata first, you're just going to deny him his end of round and take out the gangster. Correct. Although you'll be... I think the score would favor him at that point if he takes out Dracata. Yeah, so he is really trying to decide what to do here. And you can see he was worried about losing the points from MHD and Gideon that he's he ran them so far back yep. into the deployment zone that they're they're kind of out of action in this last round um, when when he you know he kind of needs them to be able to contribute something are we seeing an R2-D2 attack here yeah he's having R2 attack the gangster which didn't didn't work and then he's pulling R2 back and so now I'm trying to protect my points so I'm running my R2 away as well so that his Han can't step out and take a pot shot at my R2 So his Gideon focuses MHD and pushes him up two spaces. Um, but that MHD won't be able to get to the three health gangster. No. He can and only get to the full health one. Attack, MHD's attack just has a one, um, a surge for plus one damage. Yep. Yeah, a focus MHD cannot one shot these gangsters. No. He might be able to soften it up for an end of round Han. Yeah. To kill it, but <laughs> it's really going to hinge on Dracata here. It looks like. You're right. Yeah, you can see how close this game is going to. Uh, you can see how close it is right now, and how close, <laughs> how tight it is, going into the the last couple activations. And again, um, Joe's. And Joe's I think got it's on the I land. think it's dawning on him that it really comes down to. Can his Han finish off Dracata with one attack? Because that's what he's going to get. Ooh, you know? This is so close. His Han... He needs to do five damage, and Dracata still has a block to him. His Han basically on god mode here, but completely the burden's on just all on Han to win the game here. Yeah. Yeah, unfocused, his max uh, attack is seven damage. <laughs> Oof, right. And he needs he needs to put five into Dracata. I wonder what the uh, stats on that looks like. So I'm activating my Han. Uh, he hasn't removed that damaged gangster yet, so I'm looking at it and saying, I just need to put three damage on onto this gangster with a Han shot and then I'll use my Han to protect my Dracata. 
So I think I rolled um, I think I rolled basically six damage on this attack. So I was able to push four through, finish off that gangster, get myself three more points. And there's there my positioning. Blocking, blocking off the line of sight to Dracata um, from his Han. So that kind of seals... Uh, I mean, he can only get three from the gangster to go up to 28. Yep. Right. Right. He was going to uh, have to double move Han, right? Yep. Yeah, he's got to decide where can he get those points on kills because killing the gangster won't do it for him. My Han has two damage. My Dracata has seven damage. So I actually have the odds here of Han dealing five damage to Dracata. Uh huh. But I'm not gonna stand. It. I'm not gonna say him yet because you never tell Han the odds. That's right. So Han <laughs> moves in. He. This is double moved him, getting him set up for end of round. Right. So we're going through the steps. Yep. Now. This would have been huge if we had rolled and spawned a gangster um, sort of behind where Dracata is. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's one of the spots where they can pop up. That would have dealt two damage. That's right. Him. Fortunately, it kind of goes into that um, corner, doesn't damage anyone. The surviving gangster over here puts two more damage on MHD, but that doesn't really matter. Now, wait a second. Is that a block token on Dracata? Yes, Dracata has a block token. Oh. <laughs> so she's got a block built in. Yep, Han is declaring his attack on Dracata. I've got my built in block token. got my built in block. I'm using a block token. And I have stealth tactics still. Oh, nice. So I'm rolling a black and a white dice. And he knows I have tough luck. Oh, that's right. So he can't reroll. And you, but you still have doubt too. And I still have doubt. So I have, I'm showing four blocks total. My white dice was a blank. So he, he was throwing out positioning advantage to try to up his, his dam, his damage, but he knew he couldn't get there. I think his total attack was maybe eight, and I had four blocks. So that's the point where we, we called it right there. There's a winner. Yep, and that was the game. So yeah, with positioning survive. advantage, it was an 11% to get that yeah. kill. I thought it was really? Yeah. Yeah, but that's without that's not counting yeah. stealth tactics. So. Right. Yeah. So I ha so I was saving stealth tactics, and at that point, I still had um, doubt, which you know I could deplete to force a reroll and tough luck to drop a dice. So, um, I think I was very safe at that point. Yep. But, yeah. um, gosh, it was an incredibly close game, incredibly tight right up until the end. Yep, great positioning that whole game uh, right up to the end there. Because if, if you hadn't blocked line of sight to Dracata, he probably could have taken her out with two attacks. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, man, great game. Thank you for coming on to talk about this game. Uh, Ryan, did you want to plug anybody? Um, tune in to uh, Zion's Finest. Um I know Average Joe Gamer uh, just recorded an episode talking about his Nova run, and uh, I'll be recording uh, something with uh, Kenny as well coming up soon. Um, uh, Noah, I want to thank you for all the work you do um, with IA Command. I was rocking your uh, alt art Dracata. Uh, I had my Dracata double-sided with uh, your alt art on one side and the Zion's Finest alt art on the other. So oh, sweet. Um, th thanks for all the great content you put out there. Yeah, man. Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Right.